Now, the FBI is seizing the electronic data of a retired four-star general at the center of an illegal lobbying investigation. Former Marine Corps General John Allen accused of secretly lobbying Qatar to steer U.S. foreign policy. NBC News national security correspondent Ken Delaney and joining me now. So, Ken, the FBI's potential case here is outlined in some new court filings. What can you tell us about them? That's right, Aaron. And we're learning about this because of a search warrant affidavit that was supposed to be filed under seal, but it was made public by mistake and unearthed by The New York Times and the Associated Press. The FBI in this document is explaining to a judge that probable cause exists to believe that retired Marine General John Allen committed crimes in an effort to get a warrant to seize his phone, email, and text records. And what the FBI agent alleges in this warrant affidavit is shocking. The FBI says it has evidence that not only did John Allen secretly lobby for the government of Qatar in violation of federal law, but that he lied about it to federal agents and hid records in an attempt to cover it up. For example, the FBI says Allen failed to produce emails in response to a subpoena that showed he tried to disguise payment for his lobbying as a speaking fee. It says Allen deceived top White House and Pentagon officials about his relationship to Qatar as he was lobbying them. And the FBI says Allen offered a false version of events during a voluntary interview. These are incredibly serious allegations, Aaron. So, Kim, what kind of punishment is uh, the general facing here if he's found guilty? So no charges have been filed. This is just an affidavit. But if these allegations are charged and then proved in court, this retired fourth star general could face a significant prison term, Aaron. This isn't just about failing to register as a foreign lobbyist. It's about lying to investigators and obstructing justice, according to this document. Now, I should say, a spokesman for General Allen told me that his efforts with regard to Qatar in 2017 were to protect the interests of the United States and the military personnel stationed there, and that he received no fee. But again, this is just flatly contradicted by this FBI agent's sworn statement, Aaron. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.